Hey my babies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Raya J. And I'm back with another video. Today is Monday morning, my babies. I'm on my way to my um my um dermatologist appointment. So <laughs> I wanna update you. I wanna update you guys on what's been going on and, and y'all know I got some tea to spill, right? So literally Friday, y'all know I just uploaded my Subway mukbang slash story time or whatever. So literally it's Friday night. I'm, let me set the scene for y'all. It's Friday night and y'all know I'm, I had my little Subway or whatever and then I drunk my, first of all, I thought I was gonna drink like a cup or two of my wine. My babies, I finished the whole bottle. And I had a good night, you know, me, myself and I. So, I'm drinking, you know, minding my business as per usual. That's what your girl does. Minds her business, stays in her own lane. And um, I get a text. So, I'm like, oh my God, who the fuck is this? So, normally it's probably like T-Mobile. Because nobody, I don't talk to nobody, y'all. Literally, I don't talk to nobody. So, the only people that's texting my phone is like T-Mobile telling me my bill is due. Um probably like doc um, reminders for doctor's appointments and you know shit like that or even like um what is those things called like telemarketers and shit like that so when I look at the phone I'm like oh my god it is remember I told y'all in my what store what um content video was this I told y'all um in the content video I need to cross the street big ass dogs um what content video I told y'all? Probably when I was, when I told y'all the reason why I, I decided to go celibate or whatever. Probably, you know, in one of those episodes, I'm um, talking about my celibacy journey or whatever and why I decided to do it. Um, but basically, the, the last nigga that I, I used to fuck hit me up and he was like, <laughs> ah, this is so funny because, you know, I wasn't expecting this. You know, the last time I spoke to him, was probably like a month or two ago. And I told him like I'm celibate. Um, you know, and he was like sorry to bother you and shit like that, but you know, he was trying to get me to fuck with him again and I was like I'm celibate. And then even before that, it's fucking It's like sometimes this spring weather is confusing like when I dropped the baby off to school, I had on my fucking bubble coat. But now I'm off to my appointment. I got on my little, I don't know, what is this called? A trench coat or whatever. And I'm warm under this. I don't know, maybe it's my fucking anxiety. Um, <laughs> so, and then before that, um, I told him that, you know, I'm just, it's not him, like, it's me, you know? And I don't, I don't want to fuck with him anymore. He couldn't understand that, you know? But I guess he finally understood it the most recent time when I told him I'm celibate and shit like that, you know? So he hit me up <laughs> and he was like, let me tell you what he said. So I, I look at my phone, so I read the fucking text and the text say, I want you again so bad, shaking my head. <laughs> and when I tell y'all I was so weak, I don't know, maybe it's my fucking allergies, but I'm not right right now. <coughs> oh my God. Um, And now these people sleep in the fucking street moving that dust around. New York's air is, it's not as clean. It really is not. <laughs> Comment down below if y'all feel the same way. Like New York's uh, air is not, it's just not, it's not good. Um. So yeah, so I obviously I didn't text him back because like, I don't care if, you know, you, <laughs> I want you again so bad, shaking my head. Like, I don't care if you want me again. Like, I don't, I really don't care, you know? Um, I'm celibate, and y'all know that I'm on my self-love, self-worth, self-respect, self-discovery journey. And I'm just taking this time for me. I don't got time for these niggas. I don't got time for these niggas. I don't got time to be popping my toto. I don't care how good you think my toto is. I don't give a fuck about that. Like, I'm taking this time for myself to love myself, you know? And um, 
actually I'm waiting for my husband. But I wanted to tell you something. I think I'm gonna continue on my celibacy journey. I'm gonna, cause my last celibacy, celibacy journey I did was in 2014 and I was celibate for seven months. But this time around, I'm going to push for the one year limit. I know I told y'all in one of my content videos before, I told y'all that I am gonna be celibate until my husband finds me and I find my husband and all of that. But now I was thinking about everything and I was like, you know what? I don't think that's realistic, you know? I don't think that's realistic to go ahead and be celibate for a few years or whatever, you know, until I find my husband. Shit, I might be celibate for 10 years, you know? That's too fucking long. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be holding off for like 10 fucking years or five years, you know? Not letting off these great endorphins that I need to let off when we all have sex, okay? I just wanted to be with the right person, you know? And I just wanted to be with somebody who means something to me and I mean something to them, you know? <clears throat> and that genuinely cares for me, you know what I mean? I don't... <sighs> I literally, I just don't got time for the BS, y'all. So, by me staying celibate for a year this time around, at least that's going to, um, it's like me challenging myself, you know? I want to push further than I did. Um, <clears throat> 2014, it's 2019, five years ago. I want to push further this time. I don't want to just be celibate for, for seven months, you know? I want to push for the one-year mark. And if I can go even further than that, then, you know, inshallah, all praise to the Most High, all praise to me. <laughs> and, you know, good luck for me. Um, great for me, you know? But, yeah, so I didn't text him back, y'all. I didn't text him back because, like, what the fuck I'm going to say? Oh, okay, okay, hello, what am I going to say, LOL? Like, I just didn't text back because I, I already knew where that conversation would probably go, you know? Of him trying to persuade me to be with me again. And how, you know, nobody got a thought -tho like mine. And nobody don't do what, what I do in the bedroom and blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time for that shit. So, I'm almost to my appointment. I just wanted to give y'all a update, you know? Um... So yeah, that is the update that a nigga, a nigga tried to fuck with me again and let me know like, oh, blue Z bloop, you know? But I'm also letting y'all know that I'm gonna push for one year. So y'all know the seven month mark is coming up. So that update for my celibacy journey is coming. I'm gonna update you. Look at this tree. That's beautiful. So I'm gonna update you all on that. Um. So yeah, I'm almost to my appointment. Uh, I got more content coming for you all. Literally, we're gonna we gonna push we're gonna push harder than we ever did. Like I'm literally I'm still striving to post like every day of the fucking month. So maybe um we'll we'll accomplish that goal for May. Um, wish me luck, <laughs> y'all. I'm doing the best that I can. But I do want to say I love you all so much, my babies. Thank you all for watching my video. And I see you all in my next content video. Peace and love.